So the way I think about it is when you start off, you're building, it's a small hoop. Does everyone know hoop theory? Hoop theory, basically, a small breakdown of hoop theory. A girl, you walk up to a girl, you're talking to her, she says, buy me a drink. She's putting up a hoop for you to jump through. So there's a couple options. One, you can jump through the hoop. That's a bad option, don't do that. Two, you can ignore the hoop. Ignorance is a really underused tool. Ignore every thread that you don't see going anywhere. If a girl asks you to buy her a drink, ignore it. Keep going with what you're talking about. Don't let her rattle you. Be non-reactive and just you know, ignore the hoop. Um, and then the third option, which is what we do in A3, is to snatch the hoop from her and put it down for her. And once she jumps through your hoop, you can jump through her hoops. I'm not advocating buying drinks, but if a girl's like, what's your name? It's a hoop. She's trying to get you to give her something, and you go, guess. Now you've put a little hoop up. Now you can jump through her hoop. You know, you don't always have to make them do something, but in the beginning, you want her working, so you want to steal that hoop from her, make her jump through it first. So hoop theory, I think of it in terms of small hoops, medium-sized hoops, and big hoops. The first hoop I'm going to throw is going to be something good, a um, little small, you know. Um, are you a good friend? If I was sick, would you bring me soup? Oh, would it be homemade soup or canned soup? Okay. And you have to do three things when you're qualifying. First, you have to bait them to, to respond. You're baiting them to DHV. You throw out questions like, what's your nationality? Um, what do you have going for you other than your looks? Um, what are your three best qualities? Are you a good friend? Are you adventurous? Are you spontaneous? Little hoops that she can now fit into your model. And through that, you're going to then bait her. Then you, once you've baited, you need to reel her in. So for example, what's your nationality? Dutch? No way. I love Dutch girls. My last girlfriend was Dutch, and I just love the culture. Like the whole thing, we went over to that country and blah, blah, blah. blah. You're IOIing her now. What you're doing is you're indicating your interest in her for something other than her looks. But then, you guys ever get hit on by like a really nasty girl? And at first it feels good, but then it feels kind of creepy because it gets too hardcore. Um, that's what girls will feel. Even when they like you, we have to release it because after a while, they're, they're going to start to feel uneasy. It's the same thing with Kino Escalation, like Mystery was talking about. There'll be that time when they're like, they're realizing what's going on and you have to just push it away. So you go, okay, you reel her in, and then you go, wow, you know, you are trouble. I cannot even talk to you. Back turn, wait for her to reinitiate. And you're going to do this, I do it 10 to 12 times. Might be a little hardcore, it's my thing. Um, you gain a lot of value from making her jump through multiple, multiple hoops. I feel like that's where my value gets gained in my game because I make them work. <laughs> I mean, they're proving themselves to me for 10 to 12 minutes. You think that girl's gonna wanna hang out the next day? I think so. She's like, fuck, I, I earned this guy. I want him to call me. Um, so bait, hook, real release is the basic formula. You're always gonna wanna release and then give her time to reinitiate. I like to shut up right after I release for maybe you know, 10 to 15 seconds. See if she reinitiates. If you're doing this correctly and you shut up, she'll be like, so where are you from? What's your name? This, that, and the other. She's going to hit you with questions, IOIs. These are all just indicators of her interest in you. She doesn't care about this stuff from a random person. You go up to a girl, you give her no value, and expect her to ask you where you're from, what's your name? No, those are big IOIs, and she'll do it. You, you got to make her feel that fear of loss, though. Um, another thing I do... Hey, it's Bobby. Before we continue, John, who I learned a lot from, has a demonstration video where he shows how to bring more risky topics up in a conversation and make it easier to escalate. He does it using a technique he calls the sexual ladder, and he's got a really good word-for-word -word video of him using it on one of his hot female friends. Completely free to watch at johnson.com forward slash ladder.